It is officially Festival of the Arts season here in Epcot, and this is why it is the greatest festival in all of Disney World. Today, I'm here at Epcot, and I'm gonna let you know all there is to do at Festival of the Arts. We're gonna talk about the food, try some new food, and I'm gonna let you know the many reasons why this is the Superior Festival. This year, Festival of the Arts is around from January 12th through February 29th, making this the shortest festival. And while it's only around for just over a month, there is a ton of stuff that makes this festival really stand out. Today I am joined by Ryan, and I think he would agree with me in saying it's the best Epcot festival. 100%, 110%, it's the best. The first thing you're gonna wanna do when you come to any festival is pick up a passport. This will let you know the menus as well as any additional info you may need. Okay, so first up on the many reasons why Epcot's Festival of the Arts is the best is the interactive paint mural here. You get to actually partake in a painting, partake in some art here at the Festival of the Arts. So you go and pick up some paint and a paintbrush from the little tent, and then you make your way over here. They give you a number to stand on, and then you find your number that correlates with your paint color. And we're gonna paint some squares. How many? I think they say usually like four, right? I think right? four, yes. Yeah, you paint like four squares. So we're number five here. So, grab some paint. It's raining if you couldn't tell. Oh, oh no, I just, my paint just stripped. No, 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 no. Okay, they'll paint over that. Number 13, no, the paint is stripping. My paint is stripping. Okay, so I got two squares, I need two more. I'm gonna do this one in the middle here. I need to like get the excess paint off so it does not drip again. And one more square. Let me see if I could find another one alone. Another solo square. I cannot, so I'm just gonna go right up here. Well, clearly I don't have much of a steady hand and I'm no painter, but I have officially painted the mural. Doing that paint by numbers mural every year is such a highlight for me of the festival. Um, it's something that anyone can do, children, adults, anyone could come over here and do it. Something important to know is that I'm pretty sure it closes at like five o'clock. So if you are wanting to participate, make sure you get over here early in the day. And it's also really awesome because after you're done painting, you return your paint, you return your brush, and then you actually get a little bookmark of what the painting is gonna look like when it's all done. And that's a free little souvenir for you to take home. It does, there are four different murals that it could be. And I think they're finished about like every, every other day or something, they finish up one of the murals. So who knows if you come one day, it might be one mural. And then if you come another day, it might be a totally different mural that you'll get to paint and I just think it's really fun. As where a lot of other festivals here at Epcot are really feels like it's geared towards adults, this is definitely one activity that's like for the entire family. I literally heard a kid run by behind us while we were painting being like, oh, it's like Minecraft. I know that sounds kind of dumb, but like I fully, fully understand how like this is something, oh, we could actually do little physical arts and crafts at the event itself. And it's included with your ticket price. It's not one of the extra add-ons like some of the other make your own art things here, which I think may be covered at some point in the future. Which I guess brings me to my next point, that there is a lot of stuff to do here at Festival of the Arts that is free or included with your ticket. I feel like at this festival, more than others, you can have a full day experiencing the festival without spending any money. You can fully enjoy Festival of the Arts without buying anything, without buying any food, buying any art. There is so much to look at, so much to do, and for that reason, I really love it. Not only do you have the paint by numbers mural that's free to do, they also offer chalk art that you can actually draw on the sidewalks of Epcot with chalk. There's also chalk art that is professionally done that you can go look at. All of the art around the world showcase, you don't have to buy it, you can just go look at it. You can meet the artists that actually drew that art. Not only are there the artists that are actually drawing the, and painting the paintings, there is also art of all forms that is free to experience. There are aerial artists, uh, painters that like perform live, musicians performing on the stage here, 
all of that included with your ticket. And I hate to be a person who might continuously relay it back to other festivals, but there's not a lot to do that's included with your ticket where you don't have to buy a piece of food or buy whatever else for food and wine or for Flower and Garden. I guess Flower and Garden does have the butterfly exhibit, which I love, but we have a lot more here at Festival of the Arts, which we're gonna highlight. We briefly touched on this just before, but the chalk art at Festival of the Arts is seriously another massive, massive highlight to the festival for me. Obviously today it is raining out, so we don't have that much chalk art. The rain has kind of washed it away, but I'm gonna be showing you some clips of what it usually looks like over here when it's not pouring down rain all day. They do still have some of the art here that you can see though, even though while it's raining, you can see it's kind of washed away a little. And honestly, the one looks like really, really cool, even with the rain kind of washing it away. Sometimes if you're lucky, you can actually catch these chalk artists like in action, like painting the, the sidewalk over here. And I always love seeing that. It's always so impressive. I can't even draw with a pen and paper. I have no idea how these chalk artists do it with chalk. It's so impressive. And they also have a 3D chalk drawing where you can step into and take a photo and it looks like you're really in that Disney movie scene. And after so. you're inspired by the actual chalk artists and you want to become one yourself, as long as you're a kid because it says kids. Let me show you. Right across the way, we have the kids chalk art station. Let's go. Now, if your little ones are interested in joining in on the chalk art fun, the kids chalk art station, which normally you would be drawing on the ground here uh, like the other artists, but they do have a wall version of it. If you could see over there where you could draw on the wall while it's raining, because I think they added that because last year I feel like it definitely was an issue with all the rain that does happen, but they do have the option during the day as well. Another free fun thing that's free that you can do here at Festival of the Arts. Now I know you guys could not tell at all, but obviously today it is raining out. Um, so we're experiencing all of this in the rain. But I will say, usually Festival of the Arts has amazing weather compared to the other festivals. It's from January through February, so you're here during the cooler months, so you're not walking around the World Showcase sweating your little buns off, and you can wear a nice little sweater and not sweat, which is always a huge plus in Florida. So the weather during Festival of the Arts, thumbs up, two thumbs up. Now you guys know me, I am a huge foodie, especially a huge Disney foodie. So the number one thing that is most important to me at these festivals is the food. And I think the food at Festival of the Arts is the best of all the festivals. Not only does most of the food taste absolutely delicious, I think the presentation of the food at this festival just really sets it over the edge to me. This is Festival of the Arts, so all of the food, the plating is just gorgeous. Some of these plates and the way these things are designed, it'll take longer than other festivals to actually get your food because they are strategically placing everything on your plate to make sure it all looks perfect. And let me tell you, I really appreciate that. Some of the highlights for food for me out of the food that I tried this year at Festival of the Arts was the mushroom risotto from over in Canada. That is a favorite every year. It's creamy. It has a great truffle flavor, a lot of Parmesan. I always love that. Um, I love the empanada from the Encanto booth, which I think we're going to take a lap around and I am definitely not going to be able to walk by that booth and not get it. That is a favorite every year, the chorizo and potato empanada. Um, it, it's just delicious. It's a perfect empanada. The, the crust is so flaky. The chorizo is smoky and spicy in there. Delicious. My number one thing that I ate at the festival this year, though, was a brand new item from Craftsman's Courtyard. It's actually the marinated skirt steak it's served on a nice cr uh, crunchy roll with some onion jam, some blue cheese fondue, arugula. Let me tell you, balsamic on there, too. That was the tastiest thing I ate all day at the festival on opening day. And today I figured we, we gotta do a little food review. I got something that I didn't get on opening day. I went over to Pop Eats and I got myself the grilled cheese and tomato soup. You know, it's a cold, rainy day. What better time to eat a grilled cheese and tomato soup? And then I also got another thing from Pop Eats that I didn't try on the first day, the Rock the Dots cake. This tomato soup with grilled cheese will cost you $5.75. I do love me a little combo, a little grilled cheese and tomato soup. So let's see how this one is. Dunk in the tomato. Let me tell you, this is really hitting the spot. This was a great choice to get this. 
only thing about the grilled cheese, it's really good. I just wish the uh, bread that they use was like a sourdough instead of a Texas toast. This bird almost attacked me. It's more of like a thick Texas toast instead of a sourdough. Which I would have liked the sourdough more. But this tomato soup, first of all, can we just appreciate the Pop Eats can? Like, amazing. And that tomato soup, it's just so creamy. This has a white chocolate and orange mousse with vanilla bean chiffon cake for $5.25. I want to dig into this, but I don't because it looks so pretty. I don't want to ruin it. Also, look at this paint splatter. It's very similar to my shirt here that I'm wearing. I'm wearing my Animal Was Here tee from Shop LBV. It's got paint splatters all over, so it's almost matching my cake. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is so light. It's a very, very light dessert, which I like. A nice hint of that citrus from the orange in there. Wow. Not too much citrus either. Very happy I got this. I almost didn't but I saw photos of it from the first day and regretted it. And I knew I'd regret it if I didn't get it this time. And I'm very happy I did. I would even go as far as saying, out of all the desserts that I've tried between opening day of Festival of the Arts and today, I, I actually think this is best. I also got some of the grilled cheese, except it was the like special kind that had bacon and what was in it? Pimento cheese and green tomato, fried green tomato. Soup was great, grilled cheese was even better. My like bread was slightly more like, Crisp, crispened <laughs> than, the, than Kristen's. It was really, really good, and I highly recommend it if you do eat meat and want the extras. And it's only a dollar, I think it's a dollar extra, so like six twenty-five, something like I wanna, that. I did want to touch a little bit upon my top three foods of the festival from based off of the first day, because this is I, technically a little after the first day. I would have to go with this grilled cheese that I literally just had. That was definitely in the top three. I'd say the empanada, like Kristen said, for sure is so good, especially now that they don't have the soup there. And then I'd probably have to go with, I don't know. I like the deconstructed BLT over from the deconstructed booth by Test Track. That one's super, super good. I don't like everything that's on there, but the the like the pulled pork on there is definitely by far in my top five ways to get porked at all of Disney. Uh, one of my favorites for sure. We touched on this earlier when we talked about the free stuff that you could do here at Vessel of the Arts. And this is another thing. They have a stage here right in the center of the World Showcase when you first walk in between Mexico and Canada. Um, and they have different performances. So a bunch of different art going on here. They have Art Defying Gravity, which is like an aerial performance. They also have a musician here. I think I saw one on opening day that played like trumpet and guitar or something. And then down here we have a performance artist, Trevor Carlton. This is like the, one of the coolest things that you could honestly see at this festival. He'll be on the stage and he'll paint a picture of something Disney and there's music playing and he's like dancing and it, he does it so fast. I don't know how he does it, but it's so entertaining to watch. Today he's performing at one and four. I hope we'll be able to catch the four o'clock show. It's in about an hour, so we'll see. And I do want to apologize due to rain delays. My performance has been canceled for the day. Normally they even took it off the list here. I am up here um, doing some other forms of art. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what to which say. Will not be named. <laughs> which cannot be named because apparently we can't name that. <laughs> One more free option to do here at Festival of the Arts is the many, many photo ops around World Showcase and the rest of the park, because technically we're in the front of the park as well. This is one of the three that's around us, and we're going to show you the rest of them and talk a little bit more. Okay, over here, we have one from another movie that I probably should know. Sleeping Beauty? Okay. Now, normally there are photo pass photographers stationed here when it is not raining, but obviously because of the rain, that is a reason why they are not stationed here. I should probably not walk through this. Maybe I'll go around. <laughs> and then the final one in this front area that is new and has never appeared here at Festival of the Arts, obviously, is from the new Wish movie, which came out in November. And you could get little family photo ops, and there's multiple holes. We, we took one on opening day over in Italy, which uh, was fun. I don't know if it turned out well. But there you go, one more free thing. And I know PhotoPass costs money, but you could also just take the photos with your phone, which is what I would recommend at most PhotoPass locations anyway, because you save money and photos are on the phone then.
Hi guys, is this how this is supposed to go? I can't tell. What is it? Or is this supposed to be my eyes? How is this supposed to go? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> like I this? Think it goes up there. I think. <laughs> we wait, don't wait, know. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> is it like this? Well, this is a photo op, and there's so many things to like look at around the world showcase while you're walking around. Unlike the other festivals, there's kind of pieces of art scattered throughout. You can just take a peek at all of it and put your head in some photos. <laughs> there is so much to see here during Festival of the Arts around the World Showcase and just around Epcot in general. As you're walking around the World Showcase, you'll see a bunch of different artists' booth, booths where they're showcasing their pieces. Um, you could buy canvases, originals, you could buy prints, you could buy little postcards. They're a bit cheaper if you want, but there's so many different artists that are here um, and their work is being shown from the artist that designs all the menus at Gideon's. He is here. A ton of Disney Parks stuff, Disney movie stuff, and non-Disney stuff is here as well. And if you're lucky, the artist that painted your painting or created your painting may just be here and you'll be able to like get him to sign your painting autographs, photos, all that cool stuff. So buy some art. It's really cool. I always love looking at it. Even though I don't buy everything, I just love walking around the World Showcase and looking at it. You know, that is a really good point, Kristen. Uh, I did actually get some art here, not last year, but the year before that. And it was this like really cool Epcot collage sculpture-y type thing that was on this board where like each of the letters were in a different like font from different rides, like there was a test track one, there was a Soren one, there was a whatever, and the artist was right there. He was like, well, what do you want me to write on the back of this? And I was like, oh, you don't have to. He's like, no, I made this. I was like, oh, oh, I, like I thought he was just like a cast member. <laughs> it, was, it was like, like who, who, whatever, but then I realized, okay, and he wrote a little note like to Ryan, whatever. And it was super, super cool because like you're gonna see these art all around the parks, even year round, like just in nicer gift shops at deluxe resorts and stuff, but you'll actually get to meet the artist here at Festival of the Arts, if they're, as long as they're here. I'm pretty sure they're probably only here a few days a week, but if you're lucky, you'll catch them, which is probably fairly often. Okay, so they ha also have other people here making art. My friend made a balloon art. Mickey, how cool is that? That looks so, how long did that take you? It took me about like 45 minutes to make. Yeah. Oh, that's so awesome. Yeah. We have made it to America where they have a couple of other festival offerings. One of them is the Disney on Broadway concert series. Two, I believe it's two broad, former or current Broadway artists or performers. I guess it's performers, right? Um, they Whoa. actually come to Epcot and they perform the songs from their Disney Broadway show. And it's really cool. They're really talented. I remember one Aladdin. year, last year, yeah, last year we saw the former Aladdin and he was singing like high school musical songs. What was the fun fact about Aladdin? Who was uh, Oh, with his sister, right? His sister, his sister was, was Jasmine, Jasmine was in the show. Aladdin. Yes, <laughs> that was interesting. But yeah, you could see some former and current Broadway stars perform here. I think it's every night. Yeah, every, every single night for the fest. Okay, every night news. of the fest. Brother and sister, you guys could be Aladdin and Jasmine in the next part, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, we're not going to be staying for the performance tonight because I am really, really, I have a hankering for an empanada. we got to make it over there before um, it gets too dark because that's how YouTube works. Another thing that they offer here at the America Gardens Theater is a little animation class. So you actually, they'll like teach you how to draw different Disney characters and that's free included with your price of admission. Check the app for the times for that because I'm not exactly sure when that happens. But yeah, you could learn to draw some characters and create more of your own art here in America. While we're walking around the World Showcase, I did want to ask you guys, let me know in the comments what your favorite festival at Epcot is and why. I'm curious to hear. We happened to be walking over by the stage just as Trevor Carlton came on and I was so excited because I had been wanting to see this and I didn't know if it was gonna happen because of the rain, but man, I am happy we were able to catch it. It is so awesome to see. I, I, if you're coming to Festival of the Arts, I feel like it's a must see here. Um, it's so awesome. to he, he gets a crowd hype. He's also playing all this copyrighted music, so I'm talking over all of it. Um, and in our, <laughs> in our uh, showing, in our show today, he was painting Tigger and it turned out awesome. You can see the progression here from um, looking like Sid the Sloth to looking like Tigger. It ends um, up looking really awesome. The whole crowd is getting involved, especially when he splatters the paint. It's just so much fun. It's so cool to see. And then after the performance, he's selling that piece right there. So it, they just walk it across, right to the booth across the way. And you could actually buy the painting that he just painted. And I'm, I'm curious the price. I'm sure it's gonna be a ton of money, but 
worth it. He, he is very talented. Before we head out for the day, we do have one final order of business to take care of. Well, guys, we have waited so long for this moment. The empanada is burning the crap out of my hand. Ah. So cheers, Sean, don't get your aioli near yeah, mine. Away from me. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Culinary art at its finest. Well, guys, I think that is going to do it for us here today in Epcot. We covered so much, everything that the Festival of the Arts offers, and that is why I think this is the best festival at Epcot. Now, the other festivals here at Epcot have a lot to offer as well, except for food and wine, but that's a story for another video. And no matter what festival you are visiting Epcot for, you are bound to have a great time. But if you could plan a trip in the time that Festival of the Arts is happening, I highly recommend it. Shout out to my Patreon subscribers. First of all, shout out to Leah, who stopped me in the park today. It was awesome meeting you. So Leah, Michael, Emily, Mulligan, Lindsay, Ashley, Misty, Paul, Lisa, Barbara, Angela, Dustin and Nancy, John Paul, Tracy, Armando, the Latham Thomas family, Adam and Jen, Wayne, Carol, Karis, Marie, Dante, Shelby, Danielle and Marcel, Erica, Linda, Mike, Christina, Brittany, the Calcanes family, Chelsea, Pickle, Travis, Catherine, Ethan, Tori, Anne, and Steven. Well, cheers to Festival of the Arts, also known as Farts. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.